bring you to Miami. Oh, I'll grab any chance I can to spend some time with the greatest guy in the world. <laughs> My kid brother still looks up to me. <laughs> well, he should. After all, Ted is just a doctor and a pillar of his community. Well, on the other hand, you were the king of padded toilet seats. <laughs> Hey, they sold real well for a while, even put our daughter through college. They got me through some tough times, too. <laughs> so, uh, Ted, did I hear someone say you were a doctor? He's not just a doctor. He happens to be one of the top neurosurgeons in the Midwest. Get out of here. He's also heavy into real estate. Now, it's nothing much, really. I just own a few mini malls. Oh, your wife must be very proud of you. Actually, we're divorced. Oh, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. <laughs> Blanche. You know, I've never met a neurosurgeon before. I would love to hear more about your work. How about 8 o'clock tonight? Well, that sounds good, but I think Stan might have something planned for us. Well, I did have ringside seats at the mud wrestling palace, but uh, hey, a bird in a hand is worth two in a bush. Now we're going to eat bush, Stan. Well, I guess we're on. Well, we better get going, Ted. We want to get a parking space at the nude beach before those perverts show up. <laughs> See you tonight, Doctor. Uh-huh. Well, that was pretty embarrassing. I know, Dorothy, but what could I do? He just practically threw himself at me. <laughs>